I was talking with a friend on the radio the other day about a Jeep that I used to have. And I had uh, a VHF 2 meter mobile radio in it, along with an HF radio. And I was telling him that the antenna that I used for VHF was a coaxial antenna. He had no clue what it was. And in looking around even more, I found a number of hams have never heard of a coaxial antenna. Well, this picture you see is that of a VHF coaxial antenna. It is a center-fed vertical dipole. It is unity gain. They were very common on fire trucks back in the days of the open cab fire trucks before they were fully enclosed with, uh, with jump seats and uh, enclosed cabs. They were also common for various types of road construction equipment or heavy machinery that didn't really have a roof on it. They were also popular for Jeeps and uh, those types of vehicles that really didn't have a good way to uh, have a counterpoise for a quarter wave uh, antenna. You will also find a heavy duty fixed station version of these. You'll also find them for low band. They were fairly popular for low band, the six meters or the 40 to 50 megahertz commercial bands. As you can see, the overall length of this antenna, including the support mast, is roughly 61 inches. The overall length of the half-wave, center-fed, vertical half-wave antenna is 38 inches. And here you can see Half of that is 19 inches. The feed point is where the screwdriver is pointing to. Thus that nylon insulator separates the dipole or the two quarter waves sections of it there. And then you can see that one half of the radiating part of the antenna is just a tube, metal tube, that sits over the support mast. And thus it's isolated from the support mast. And then the little whip or stinger above that is the uh, other half of the uh, antenna, or the other quarter wavelength. And this is a portable roll-up coaxial antenna. It's made out of RG-174. You can make it out of any coax. RG-174, RG-8, uh, 58. Although the bigger, the larger diameter of the coax, the harder it is to do the trick. Basically, what you do is you just strip off a uh, pretty close to three quarters of a wavelength, whatever band you want to do it on. And... Um, you uh, peel back the braid. In fact, I take a little tiny tool and poke a hole in the shield where I can pull the center through and then peel it back and uh, then fold it over the uh, coax. So that shield folded over the coax cable is the other half of the dipole. So you want it to be roughly a quarter wavelength long. And then, of course, prune your uh, little stinger, the center lead of the coax, for the same length, roughly a quarter wavelength long. And there you go. Performance will be about the same as a Slim Jim, but it's high band only, or VHF 2 meters only. VHF 2 meter high band, one and the same. And... Um, don't worry about the match on it. It'll perform better than any rubber HT antenna that you'll ever try, especially when you can put it up into a window. It's perfect for like a window in a motel room or an apartment or something like that. It's, uh, it's just perfect for that. And um, 
Again, don't worry about the match. Um, you're not going to get it all that good, but guarantee it will do a much better job than what you will do with your uh, rubber antenna. You can see how it's made there, where the, uh, I use tools for the pointer, pocket tools. You can see where the bottom of the shield, where it's folded over the, uh, the, uh, the coax, and that part of the coax would be like the mast on the mobile coaxial antenna, or the fixed station coaxial antenna that I showed you a little bit ago. And then you can see there the center, where the shield and the stinger come together, that's the actual feed point. That's the feed point of the antenna right there. And then uh, the stinger is a quarter wavelength long up to uh, the end of it. This one is a VHF one. You can do them for any band that you want to. And uh, again, uh, you're not going to get anywhere near a perfect match on it. Or if you do, when you roll it up the next time you get it out and use it, it's not going to be uh, as good. If it's three to one or better, it's going to work fine. Your typical walkie-talkie uh, final amplifier is very tough. They're made for serious mismatches. They don't fold back either. So uh, if, it's, uh, if it's three to one to better, it's going to work just fine. Many rubber walkie-talkie antennas are that bad or worse anyways, and they don't radiate worth a hoot. Usually the heat goes up in the, uh, in the coil. RF goes up in the form of heat in the coil. So there you are. Uh, these are coaxial antennas. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you maybe learned something if you didn't already know this. 7-3.